Have you ever wondered how to tell if your axolotl is a boy or a girl? Identifying the gender of these fascinating creatures can be a bit of a challenge, especially when they're young. Yet, as they mature, typically between 6 and 18 months, a few physical characteristics become more pronounced. The most reliable indicator is the cloaca. Males sport a swollen, more pronounced and rounded cloaca, while females have a smaller, less prominent one. Then, there's the body shape and size. Females often have a fuller body, especially when gravid or carrying eggs, and may grow slightly larger than males. Also, take a look at the fins. Males often flaunt a longer and more pronounced tail fin compared to females. So by paying attention to these subtle yet distinct traits, you can correctly identify the gender of your axolotl. Now let's delve into the fascinating world of axolotl sexual maturity. It's a captivating phase in an axolotl's life, typically occurring between 6 to 12 months. However, factors like genetics, diet, and overall health can influence the timeline. You'll notice some intriguing changes as your axolotl matures. For one, males may start to display courting behavior such as nudging or following potential mates. It's their way of saying, hey, I'm ready to reproduce. Physical development is another telltale sign. The cloaca, remember, that's the gender indicator we spoke about earlier, starts to develop more noticeably. And in females, you might even spot the appearance of eggs. Lastly, don't be surprised if your axolotl suddenly shows an increased interest in food. A surge in appetite can be a sign that their bodies are preparing for the breeding season. These signs indicate that your axolotl is ready for the breeding season. Breeding axolotls in captivity requires careful planning and a responsible approach. To kickstart the breeding process, it's critical to condition both male and female axolotls. This involves ensuring they are in good health and feeding them a nutrient-rich diet. Next, a separate spawning tank must be set up, offering optimal water conditions and suitable spots for egg laying. This can be achieved through the use of plants or artificial substrates. Once the eggs have been laid, a decision must be made whether to leave them with the female or raise them separately. While leaving the eggs with the female might seem natural, raising them separately often increases survival rates as it reduces the risk of the eggs being eaten or damaged. Proper breeding practices ensure the health and well-being of both the adult axolotls and their offspring. By understanding and respecting the complex reproductive behaviors of axolotls, we can contribute to their conservation and enjoy the rewarding experience of nurturing these fascinating creatures. As an axolotl owner, it's essential to consider a few things before deciding to breed your axolotls. Breeding is a task best left to experienced owners ready to take on the responsibility of caring for potentially hundreds of offspring. It's not a venture to be taken lightly. Consider the legal and ethical implications as well. Be sure you're aware of local regulations regarding the breeding and sale of axolotls. It's also worth reflecting on the ethical considerations of introducing more pets into an already crowded world. Regardless of whether you choose to breed or not, regular health checks are crucial. Keeping an eye on your axolotl's health can help detect any issues early on and ensure a long, healthy life for your pet. Understanding the gender and sexual maturity of axolotls not only enriches your experience as an owner, but also contributes to the preservation of this fascinating species.